<laughs> Stay tuned after the quickie to hear something about Patreon, guys. So I just saw Blue Jasmine, and I gotta say it was pretty fantastic. A refreshingly great movie near the end of a year filled with massive disappointments. Woody Allen impresses again with his theatrical style scripts and well-written characters. There were a few moments in the film that I found to be predictable, but I never felt cheated as an audience member because of it. It's not really a movie that relies on you to be guessing where the characters will end up, but more so being able to observe them along the way. Each of the characters were unique and consistent, and because of the story it was trying to tell it provided a really good excuse to see some emotional performances. Most notably by Kate Blanchett, who gives the best performance of the film and possibly one of the best all year. She provides many observable subtleties in her performance, and I was never really watching the movie thinking of her as an actor. I was really able to believe that she was her character in this movie. And props to Woody Allen for that too, because his script gave a really in-depth and interesting character study to work with. The rest of the actors on film I still saw as the actors themselves, but they were casted for their roles well enough that it didn't seem unnatural in the slightest. Louis C.K. is playing Louis C.K., Sally Hawkins is playing Sally Hawkins, and Alec Baldwin is playing Alec Baldwin. Not literally, of course, but you get my point. The only real complaints I have about the film are some personal subjective issues I have with the editing. You can tell that the script's written in such a way that the characters should be interrupting each other ever so slightly, the beginning of the next sentence overlapping with the end of the previous one. And you can tell that too, because when two characters are in the same shot, that's how it's performed. But there was one scene in particular where the two characters were in separate shots, and the editing provided an uncomfortable amount of room between their sentences, making it a little distracting for me. It seemed really unnatural, but thankfully it was only for a short scene. At a later scene in the film, it seemed like a cut was made in between two quick sentences, with the first half of it cut out to make it seem like that's where the characters started talking. Again, very minor, but it did take me out of the movie for a second. Despite those technical criticisms, this is so far one of the best movies I've seen all year. If you like watching a really interesting and entertaining character piece, then go check it out. I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10. Hey guys, just a heads up, I wanted to say it's a new month, which means new perks for Patreon. For those of you that don't know what Patreon is, click the link below. Thank you guys very much for your support thus far, helping me do this full time. This literally would not be possible without you, and by that I mean the review that I'm working on that will be out this month is pretty fucking large and ambitious, and uh, right now I've narrowed down the interview footage to about 50 different YouTube videos and five hours worth of interviews, and so now I'm editing through those, and shortening those down to only include the parts that I might use and then I can yada 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 a whole process. Uh, but yeah, I'm putting in a lot of work for it and you guys are awesome for helping out. And uh, uh, the Death Race 2 notes are the perk for this month of September. So anybody donating through Patreon will receive theirs at the end of the month in just their regular perk section or whatever that I, I can put on there. And anybody donating through the PayPal link below, uh, I will be sending those out via email. And uh, for the $10 um, uh, Google Hangout thing that uh, we did earlier, and that was cool, uh, there will be a new one uh, sometime around the beginning of October. I'll try to make that date public as soon as possible. That is around the time where Vancouver Film Fest is, so I'll try to confirm, make sure I have the tickets for those, and then plan around that. Otherwise, uh, just make sure that whatever email you're using, whether it be for Patreon or PayPal, would be the email that I would be sending the invitation to the Google Hangout for. Since the full YMS review is not going to be out this week, but it definitely will be out this month, uh, I'm going to release a thoughts on video just to tide you guys over within the next few days. Um, anybody donating through Patreon, make sure to set your monthly limits to what you're comfortable with. And also, thank you. Guys, this is really cool and awesome. Anyway, uh, if you're only comfortable donating for the full YMS reviews, because those are fucking long, and uh, are not comfortable with donating for the Thoughts On videos, there's a really easy solution to that. Since I am making one YMS video per month, you can just set your monthly cap at the exact amount that you're pledging, and that way even if you technically do get charged for Thoughts On, you're still getting a YMS video out of it because I'm releasing them monthly at this point. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you guys are fantastic, and uh, let's keep this going. All you poor fags, don't worry about it. You don't have to donate. It's okay. Uh, everybody sharing around my videos and stuff like that, you are super cool too, and you are helping out as well. My fan's on. That probably created some white noise in the audio. Oops. Oh,